Anyway guys, hello guys, it is Team Fresh Star back with another video. Today we are playing Life is Strange Colors. Um playing with a controller because I originally played Life is Strange with a controller for the first time. I'm gonna continue that trend by playing game with uh, Xbox. So I own Life is Strange with Max. Eventually, we probably play through that game. I don't have the remastered, so I won't be playing that though. Life is Strange Two Colors is a story-based game that features player choice. Your actions and decisions will have consequences for Alex and those around. Choose wisely. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Yeah, I like strange true colors. I've been looking forward to this game ever since I found out it would be released last year. So your character has the power of empathy. You can see the motions of those, she can see the motions of those around her. Pause the game. 
Is there graphic settings? Because it's a bit bad. Makes more sense. Get to high. And then if we still have issues, we can change it down again. Change it medium. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Oops. It's not gonna let me talk to you. Oh. They have literally made it impossible. Okay. Bring on me, Gabe. Alright guys, there's gonna be slight lag. Can't do too much about that. Let's change my setting. I have fun. Zen moment. Press E to leave the Zen moment. I mean, it's a quite cool Zen moment. There's tears in people's yards. Flowers. Alex. Not a pure person. Holy shit, that's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. <laughs> oh, is crushing my ribs still part of the protocol? <laughs> It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. 
Believe it. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Um. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. Just don't go hugging me again, please. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Cute. Rocky Mountain record thing. Over Dragon. My name? Brown Bear Diner. It's nice. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so-so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? Be honest, since it's a great class. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. Called it! Wow. You two are already wonder-twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I've read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What did you do? <laughs> it's kind of important. What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? Don't know. <laughs> okay, then sunflowers. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, Go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tap? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No. Not yet, I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. 
Might as well have a look around before we leave. Oh, the hair's back though. Yeah, it was looking a little weird during the cutscene. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. Oh, very nice. Okay. How to kill everything you touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, unlocking the flavors of the earth. The perfect flower bed. Making the magic garden real. And it went down. Kill everything you touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Uh, press L, hold LT, and displays. The displays. What if I don't get in? Shit! What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Oh, she's doing an interview. Uh, one of those um. Essay questions or college applications. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Yeah, hopefully. The tiny house movement is really taking off. No. This gnome has been places. Give you sunglasses, buddy. Perfect. Das. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> and with us. Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? That's a shame. That happens to a lot of orphans. They lose track of their siblings. This, if it's if kids aren't getting adopted, from what I can understand, the um, adoption agencies may separate them so they get adopted separately instead of together in order to increase the chances of getting adopted. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. That's yeah. Sucks. Really, their all is to stay. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? About three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. You need stable feet with ladder work. Enough with the feet. Hey, don't get snippy with me, pal. I'm just saying my Uncle Albert fell off a ladder once when he was repainting his roof. Beautiful mahogany color, you should have seen it. Anyway, broke his whole arm. The whole thing. Sounds awful. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow, you should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Wow. Good to know. Typhon Mining Corporation blasting notice. Automated blasting took place Sunday, April 28th, 2019, 9 p.m. 
Warning sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast radius. Look at oh, nine. Here we are. Wow. Just wow. Enter your body for your mind, then do it all with tiny little goat feet on your back. Join us for a relaxing session on our farm. Uh. What the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. What did you think of the show? Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Step one. Patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. Yeah. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Oh, hi there. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Oh. I'm Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. <laughs> If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Something like that. Treasures of Tibet. That sounds cool. Oh, wow. Oh. This place reminds me of the shop Cabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. 
It's a cat. No way. Aren't you from a previous game? Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. Okay. There's a character from a previous Life is Strange game, but I don't remember who they are or what they look like. I think it's a female character. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open wait are you Alex that's me wow Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever I'm Ryan hi Ryan nice to meet you so all the way from Portland huh what do you think of Haven I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep, it's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Nerdy or different? Oh, he looks so nervous, but I don't know which one is supposed to be the mean one. Don't want to be mean, but I'm probably going to be mean. Accidentally. The saying it's different is like um, calling someone unique, not always taken well. Calling them a nerd also isn't always taken well because some people don't like being called a nerd. With nerdy, there's nothing wrong being nerdy. The nerdiest thing I've ever seen. And I owned two schoolhouse rock albums. I'd lie and say it was for my work, but no, it's totally for fun. <laughs> so you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. Hmm. <laughs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. If I had to guess, she aged out of the foster care system. Common, I think.
Uh, Typhon Mining reminded all Haven residents Typhon Mining will be setting off charges at 9 p.m. Please ensure designated danger zones are clear. Call a 24 hour safety line with questions of concerns. The post has disabled it. Nice. It. My sister Alex is finally getting in town tomorrow, so I expect everyone to be on their worst, on their least horse behavior. I'll be adding her to my block as soon as she gets in. Everyone say welcome. So exciting, I could barely handle one again. No way tomorrow. Happy for you. Buy you beer tonight. Celebrate. Uh, Ho will be fielding any questions you may have regarding Typhoon Mining opening your second open pit mine. Is there anything you want to know? Leave a comment. Talk to a second mine have on the environment. Thanks for the question, Eleanor. We'll be sure to address that. I'll be happy to address that as well. But I doubt Typhoon would like this lead to more traffic through town. My kids walk home from school and all those tall trucks make me nervous. Look at that. They're creating a bunch of new jobs, right? Do they know how many yet? Find out. The latest issue of Legendary Monster Hunter. I say Nor is finished. Where to go? How many can I have for the store? Let's take him in to get copies made this week. Yes. Ready to be saying or for Will in the LARP next week? Totally. It's going to be a legend. Uh, this weekend, July last chance to sign up for Mountain Song, a live action playing event in Denver. I'm going to organize it and it's going to be rad. Ethan and I are going, so you should do. You guys stoked or what? I can barely sleep. He's not lying. My kids might be interested. Shoot me the link. You got it. Family porch pit open. Needs any computer help? Hit me up. I'm pretty good with tech and trying to save up some extra cash. Like our core lesson. Wait, I had okay. Hey Alex, it's Chessa. Thank you so much for your help with Harley last night. Oh, is this someone you babysitted for? My jaw is still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. Hey Chessa, I'm glad you're okay. Harley's awful, don't worry. Not every girl is that bad in foster care. Text me if you need me, okay? Oh, it's someone from foster. Okay, someone who's in foster. Or was. Maybe aged out too. OMG, thank you. I didn't think I was going to get any birthday gifts. The necklace. Beautiful. Happy birthday. Don't be too thankful. I bought it at a pawn shop. Hello. <laughs> hey, and your friends can't be picky, right? Truth. Hey, Alex, sorry, sorry to bother you. Do you have any? Okay. Uh, no bother. Check the drawer in my nightstand. I think it's Ash in there. My, you remain my hero. Thank you. Hey, Chelsea. Chelsea? I have something important to tell you and don't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado and live with my brother. Leaving you was the literal only downside to this plan. I'm really sorry. Just now that I'm always a phone call or a text away, okay? Congrats. Uh, don't be sorry. I'm happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. Sounds good. Good luck today. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Tell everyone push you around, okay? Bad. Uh, life has been hard these past few years, but I'm really glad we met. Okay. Okay, so we gotta catch up. Alex, who is this? Uh, sorry, who is this? It's Gabe. Is this some kind of joke? No, you dork. <laughs> Call me right now. It was so rad catching up yesterday. Chat again later? Yeah, sure. Hey, how was your weekend? Uh, pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. How about you? Finally listened to the new Paint Thinner and Coffee album. They're killing it. Uh, ever seen them live? Not yet. Definitely will when I get the chance. Hey, how are things? Alex, sorry I haven't texted. Things are crazy busy. How are you? Things are weird right now. I'm dealing with it. You need help? Okay, I think. Alien, would you ever live in Haven? Fuck. 
Duck, not alien, you're an alien. Are really are you correct? Oh, this phone is an idiot. Ali, you wake? So, hey, bud. Have you been drinking? No, yeah, this is my natural state. Answer the question. Go to bed. Oh, crap. I drunk texted you. Serious, though. Officer Sands, Haven School. Hey, what's up? I haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you right? Alex, please call me when you get this. How are you holding up? Okay, it's been crappy here, but we've been through worse. I mean, if you need it. will do. <laughs> I can't believe you're coming. Me neither. Thanks for sending the ticket. You're a lifesaver. Of course, we're so excited to have you here. Tomorrow's a big day. You need anything? Nope, I'm good. I don't have much care, you know? Hey, I'm about an hour away. Can't wait. I'm ready for you. Let's just pull it in. On my way. So excited. Or, oh, this was uh, recent, right? Maybe. Yeah, this would have been recent, so 5 p.m. Yeah, Ward's okay as boyfriend. Ah, <laughs> uh, you were right. Uh, you were right, sunflowers. I feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I wouldn't get used to hearing it. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invite you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. Cool, thanks. Dr. Lynn. Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. Are you going to make it? Alex? Punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your assigned counselor are a precondition of your residence at Helping Hands, Alex. Let's call this strike one. I'm sorry, lost track of time. For our session yesterday, to pilot the self by Dr. Levy, Levi Halperner. Right, thanks. We find out for just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Is Heather okay? She's upset, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. So sorry. Alex, where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Alex, please get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally vulnerable position right now. I'd like to, I'd like to speak to you before I leave for the night. Are you settled in? Yes. I stop by your room, please. Yes. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know that I'm here for you if you need me. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages. Okay. I thought you liked Dr. Lin, but I guess not. Instantly blocked. Oh, this is one of those, one of your false feelings. Uh, is this Bridget? You're not going to stay here. Go back to where you came from. I wonder what your parents will think about this behavior. They won't believe you. He's texting me, genius. I have a written record. Okay. Jean. Hey, is this Jean? That's Cosmic Charlie to you, friend. To whom am I speaking? Alex, please give me your number. Are you still selling? Only to those who truly know how to swing you to the flow. Yeah, never mind. Hey, you guys talked a lot. Uh, hey, Alex, it's Isaac from the record store. Thanks for schooling me on Brianna Lilac. Her first album's great. It was really nice meeting you yesterday. You must have the wrong number. Oh, I'm so sorry. Just kidding, dude. It's Alex. Gosh, I was so bombed out for a sec second. Why would you do that to me? Sorry, it was nice meeting you too. She love to take, would love to take you out to coffee. So you owe me one for that cool and unusual joke. Uh, maybe next weekend? Great, I'll ping you Saturday. Have a happy Halloween. Hey Alex, are you free tonight for a drink? I know a spot downtown that serves literally the perfect sangria. Hey Isaac, sorry for the delay. can do drinks, but maybe coffee after lunch? You can try to retain your musical taste. Alex accepted. Have you been to Silver Kettle on SW Washington? Yeah, 3 p.m. See you there. Have a great time, Alex. Despite your question more choice in beverage, nothing wrong with hot chocolate. Uh, hi Alex, are you free for drinks tonight? Craving another lesson on Portland singer slash songwriters? Prayer for an education, call me after lunch. You got it. Okay, are you beautiful, interested in a cocktail tonight, or just tons of popcorn in a movie? I know both. 
Now we're talking. Let's start with a, a cocktail. Are you free at eight ish? Sure. Very belated, but happy new year. Sorry, I've been out of touch. Just busy with my program. Happy new year. Don't worry about it. Can I take you out tonight? How about full on dinner with wine and bread? Like actual dinner. Actual dinner sounds great. Thanks, Isaac. I get, I'll get glammed up a bit. It's about time you need to step up your glam game. Hey, you haven't seen me yet. Roll out of bed, level cramp, bam. Maybe I'll see that tomorrow morning. Easy there. Trigger, I think you meant to type tiger. Uh, hey, Isaac, you around? Hey, Alex, how goes it? You think I could crash your place tonight? That hashtag foster care life is catching up with me. Of course, I'll get out the wine. Thank you so much. I don't. I don't really need the wine. I'm actually pretty beat. I'll take it out. Just call me when you're downstairs. Alex, last night was incredible. I'm glad you came over. Everything okay? Hey, yeah. We just moved a little fast last night. Can we? Okay. What's wrong? I thought you were having a good time. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Sorry to hear that. You gave me all the right signals and I thought you were interested. Hey, Alex, want to get a drink? Alex, you awake? Let me know when you get these. Alex, come get drinks. I'm buying. Alex? Hey, Isaac. Alex Chen. Long time no see. You go ignoring you. Uh. Anyone? Well, like. Three months? A little over three months. Nope. Way over three months. Hey, Isaac. Uh, no long time no see. I know, right? Listen, I need a place to crash again. Can I bribe you with root beer? You have something that's way better than beer and you know it. I need a place to sleep. And that's what I've got in this zone. Come over. This caller has been blocked. You no longer receive messages from their number. Yeah, that seems all right. Stop blocking everyone, though. Is also so many. Hey, is this still your number? OMG, Alex. Hey, Mary. So good to hear from you. How are you? I'm okay. Sorry to ask, but do you have a place I could crash? I'm amazing. My amazing decision making abilities got me into some trouble. Yes, of course. Our apartment has a couch with your name on it. I'll call you in a few. Thank you so much. I'll pay you back with tender love and affection. Hello. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Alex. Hope you are someplace warm. Hey, Mary, yeah. Totally smoking. Merry Christmas. You ever figure out things with Miss Stevens? No, she's a jerk. I ended up back in the group home after that. Bono, Bono. Okay, so sorry, Alex. You deserve better. Oh, good. I already added her to my "won't be sad" of ordered list. Hey, hi, Mary. I bought the latest vinyl. We'll trade it away for a few more nights in your couch. Hey, sure things. Oh, sure thing. I'm home right now. Thanks, I promise I won't make this habit. I got you, girl. Alex, how are you? I haven't heard from you in forever. Hey, I'm... S hey, sorry, I missed this. This year's been crazy, but I'm managing you. One day at a time, I met a pretty nice guy at work. Found out a few times. Oh, cool. Oh, him not to screw it up. Hi, I'm in your neck of woods. Want to get a drink? Hola, chica. Already started. Let's go. Actually got a table at Auntie's for once. Come by. Hey Mary, I'm really sorry, but can I crash again? I decided I need a break from the crap hone on his helping hands. Alex, I'm sorry, but I have a few friends staying with me right now, so I can't. Maybe in a week or two? No worries, I'll figure something out. Have a good night. You too. Good luck and be safe. Hey, you okay? You left the bar pretty quick last night. Hi Mary, you there? Mary, don't be... Boy, I've totally... Mary, please text me if you get this. I was just joking about this stuff I said last week. There's nothing weird about me except that one birthmark. I was drunk, I was just drunk. Mary, please, I need you of all people to not treat me like a freak. Oh, you must have told her about your powers then. The only thing that makes sense. Elsa, Elsa slash anger. No date stamps.
bitter and jealous and a little easily that's what the anger tastes like didn't even have time to step back seconds later i was washing across the room what a mess i split her lip open pool thing wonder how long you'll take to heal it's hard to clean blood off your clothes makes me makes you feel wrong i don't really blame her for being upset she thinks i get special treatment at the home but i don't doesn't matter now she keeps to herself most of the other kids do actually so that would be business as usual until a new group comes in and this starts all over again the worst part they confiscated my guitar two-week ban at least i get it back and you're writing a song is about such anguish I tried to write this so many times and they all ended up in the trash let's see how far i can get i really like i really liked isabel she was sweet and loving and smoked and a few beers for us and weekends but her depression was brutal it crept under my fingernails and made my eyelids feel like stone and i had to focus and keep breathing like dipping your rib cage in lead it was hard to get away from Eventually it got too much. Two bottles of sedatives, lying in vomit, her eyes opening open and glassy and afraid. Sorry, Isabel, I thought we could have stayed friends when we finally got out of this vanilla flavored holding pen. I wish you could have stuck around for a little longer. See you again, I'll bring you. Okay. So we're basically caught up. I could spend hours sitting here. Maybe I will. Copyright music. Cool. Awkward silence. It sends us copyright music. Ah. Uh, can't hear it because I disabled it. That was cool. It's been a minute. How very small town. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Delightful. Okay. A uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. Adam, it's you forbidden song. Color it, me impressed. You want. I mess with the cat in a bit. Hi, kitty. Wait, is that the hold list? Of course the cat's on it. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. We have to find everything, my good. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> oh, prank on Diane. Diane. Mop. Duck new arrivals. Bulletin board. Mop. Lines order due. Mop. Spring fest decorations. And mop. that this town has their own radio station. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Valkyrie. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Explore a little bit. 
I have to touch it, guy. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Nah, that's human nature. Are you trying to die? <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, luck or not, I've officially cheated death. Wait, that's Steph? Okay. It's been so long since I've played. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Made in Poland in the 1930s, this clarinet belonged to Igor Sobyski, a renowned clarinetist in survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947, where he founded Sobe's Music, an importer of fine instruments from all over the world. Igor eventually retired to Haven Springs, where his generous donations still fund KRCD, Haven's own independent radio station. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Okay, we're gonna help now. Any luck finding that cat toy? Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I think Gabe's gotten so emo that he doesn't like instruments anymore. Just dudes screaming and crying into the microphone. <laughs> Dear God, let's hope not. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Def didn't seem mad that I'm here. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. I disown him. <laughs> Damn. Stickers. Oh, yes. A good place for toy safekeeping. No. Maybe that drawer. It could be. Celine Dion's greatest hits? You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. What does he say? You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews? Yeah. And sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Alas, no toy. Yeah, I get. Um, the conversation's fun. Uh, junk box? Or anything? Elf. What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. Maybe in the junk box? No, nah, it looks like a lost and found type thing. Ah. Huh. And we have oh. a winner. Good guess. <laughs> it was the only thing left. Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Are you really though, or is it just because you're dead? <laughs> Who's the superior?
superior mammal now. All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Mean cat service thing? Tiny blue bot? But he has two. Oh, he picked that one up. Uh, the King of Leon. Should have known. Wait, seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed sprained an ankle it was funny <laughs> <laughs> you know you being here is a game changer in the gabe embarrassing department all right you're looking at 20 even why is she mad no no way i can't believe you're doing this no. again come on do you have any idea how much time i put into this You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> it's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had... I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? You have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh. No bird calls, though. I'll be there. One sec. Thank goodness for Ryan. <laughs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Realize something went up. Are you okay? Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Hey, bro. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'll be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. <laughs> Guilty. You know, we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers. By the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Oh, anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Tag along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Thanks, bud. Who messaged Steph? I think. How does she have my number? <laughs> Boy. Already being haunted by, um. Oh. Okay, so it's empathy powers. Um. I, I forgot her name. Oops, I forgot the MC's name. Alex? Maybe?
Um, she can not only read people's emotions, but if the emotions are strong enough, they influence her own emotions. Around someone who's extremely mad, he starts, I guess, getting mad. That must suck. Like with Steph, Steph was angry and all of a sudden, like Steph was tapping her, and all of a sudden Alex started tapping her foot. I wonder if anyone finds out about ours. Mine's really a bit suspicious. That's why he asked Steph to leave. He knew, like, uh, stuff. He just didn't. Then it's cool. So far, we've only gotten to read, like, people's emotion. One was an accident because it was so strong. That was stuff. And then Rachel was the other one. Willingly read her. And mine. Oh, and we read Brother Man's. How about that? I forgot I did that. Yeah. Right before he gave his girlfriend the flowers. Like five minute long wait times are annoying. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's got to be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche. Good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. The dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Char. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? So I can tell Gabe and possibly keep Ethan from getting hurt, which would also make Gabe happy but lose Ethan's trust. Or I can keep Ethan's trust and hope he doesn't get hurt. You good? He trusted me. Yeah, fine. Just thinking about you as the Hobbs to Ethan's Calvin. Exactly. That's exactly what it's like. Except you're, you know, dating his mom. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't read my Calvin and Hobbs fan fiction. Wow. What? What do you say we get you settled in? This is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? 
Yep. Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit, you know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. He tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Big word I don't know the meaning of. Before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah. So, just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. How'd you make Mac mad? So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Isn't explosion mining uranium very dangerous? The interactive substance I don't think does to explosion? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't really know how radioactive. Shit, man. Peak nineteen. Wow, this place is big. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. <laughs> Seriously, this is great. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe, I, thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. I already do the whole staring at me thing. It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah? Do I look how you expected? No. I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Funny, I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. 
Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this... This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Yeah, it's copyright. I think it would be cool for the, you know, find non-copyright songs. God, I can't get over this. Feels just like old times. No, oh, no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what even is that? You're way off tempo. <laughs> you just gotta let the beat flow through you. <laughs> Your turn. No. Yeah, that's all you. Stop. Sounds mad. Just give me a sec. Yeah. Hey, Mac. Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass uh, right now. No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, Mac. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you. I didn't... Hey, it's okay. Act first. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Fuck. <sighs> Fuck. 
Wait, Gabe. Alex. It's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. That thing is, it wasn't even her fault. Great. She got a bit overwhelmed by Max's emotions, his anger. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. Oh, there goes Alex's relationship brother. Alex, this is Ryan. It was really nice meeting you at the record store. Looking forward to talking more. Nice meeting you too. Sounds good. Good stuff, but hey, Alex is stuff. So I had to run out like crazy person excited to meet you at for real at the lantern tonight. You too. Free drinks tonight. Black Lantern celebrate my sister. There's a memory stop. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Okay. Charlotte made this? Kate mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. Is that... a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Nine Eraser 2. Orithosoes Cup. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? At least I held it together in front of Ryan and Steph. It is not Gabe. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Chapter 4 is the most important. Let's discuss it over 
wine. I love you. See? Responsibly parenting your end out. I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Questions attached object. Oh. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Okay. Alex placed the group home in Portland area. Oh, he was trying to track you now. Anita and Eduardo. <laughs> they were one of the good ones. Hello, Gabe. Eduardo and I were very happy to hear from you. We are glad to see you doing so well after all these years. Colorado was very far away. Ellie was difficult to keep talking with Alex after she was taken into the system. I don't know where she lives now. Use the phone number for the age. Maybe they can help. Line only available third Wednesday of month. Oregon Child Protective Services. Try Human Services Child Welfare. I wish you luck and best. The uh, paralysis. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. Oh, he's going through all the shit. Got through, not her. Nope, a dude. Automated voicemail follow up. Old number now. Um. Named Adam. I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my God, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. So Mac was reading Riley's text? Boyfriend of the year. that I've been selected to move forward in the, to the interview stage. Your information will be in touch in the next several days to schedule your interview. Congratulations, good luck. Gabe, is happening. Please, please, please help me prep. Riley. CIT. Hmm. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. I know that you can change your outfits. Yeah, I'll stick with this. I'm done, pack this. Shoo shoo. One pack in the shoo shoo. Oh God, shoo shoo's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was. Hoping we were done with that. We've seen things, haven't we, Shu Shu? Okay, next is a comic. Oh, yes, from Ethan. Ethan's Run. really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. You tunnel to the monster stronghold of. 
Demonheim collapsed? I'll have to find it other way in. The uniform of the city guard, long dead from the looks of it. Blood? The trail seems to end here unless... Hollow. Aha! He must have crawled through here. Corpse of a cloud serpent. Serpent. It must have crashed through the ceiling. Perhaps if I reach higher ground, I can find the secret entrance. Flying thing, your flying days are over, Cloud Serpent. Uh, but you may still be of use to me. That glow beyond the peak, that must be the stronghold's back gate. And we're done. Ethan's really talented. Next is the letters from... I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. Hey Alex, what's up? You still have helping hands? Just so you know, I'm gonna delete my accounts and lay low for a while. I hooked up with this uh, person a couple of times for a place to stay and now he's harassing me. Also, I'm leaving Burnside. Supervisors a roast and keeps accusing me of dealing. I'll hit you up if I find a new situation. Honestly, I'm running out of options, but you know me, I'll get creative. Anyway, I hope you're good. Is Lauren still there? Remember when when you screwed her up? Miss your dumb butt, Sydney. At least she cared. More than I can say for most. Yeah, Alex, I wouldn't blame you if you threw this letter out before even opening it. If you're, if you're reading this, thank you for giving me a chance to apologize. I wasn't ready. I wasn't out. I wasn't cut out for being a foster parent. The stress, the arguments, the shouting, it was too much for me, especially at my age. I should have known better. I'm sorry if I made things worse. You good luck out there. Dearly, Miss. I really wish those meds had worked. Abigail Len, MD, patient name, Alex Ben. Alprazolam, ER, milligrams. Chelsea, the rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Dear yeah, Alex, happy birthday! Here's hoping you're having an absolute fab this day and that you don't have to deal with a single crappy thing from sunup to sundown. Real talk though, I wanted to thank you for all the things you've done for me since we met. I felt safe and happy and even loved when you're around. Pretty unusual for people like us, right? Anyway, thank you for being you, for being my friend. For the way you beat Harley's butt, for letting me wear all your clothes, even when I don't ask, I don't want to sound like a loser, but you're basically the only good thing in here. Of Elsa. Oh no, of who? Oh, it's of them and their parents. Crazy how much we've changed. You know, she just tore out the parents' part. It's really nice that Gabe and I both held on to this photo. My journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Another anger post. Max slash anger. It all started with a knock. I think I felt something off before Gabe even opened the door. Like something was slipping under the frame. Something red, something wrong. 
Then there's Mac and that familiar feeling, feeling of dread that always comes when I know I'm losing control. No matter how hard I fight it, it just keeps coming until my blood is a running boil. Then the part where my whole body has already made the choice to hurt someone. And it's going to happen and no one can make up. Max Anger felt hot and dizzy and also a little bit afraid. Really, it was all about Riley. Red Rage. Thought of her with someone else. Thought of her with anyone else. It was under his skin, burning. A feeling like hot cords grinding around behind your ribs. It's one of the most exhausting feelings in the world. It's such a relief when it's over. When your ears stop ringing and your heart slows down. From hummingbird to lazy jackhammer. Such relief. Too bad it cost Cave a punch in the mouth. How do you apologize for something like that? Peace, breathe. Eve? Um. Oh. Talk chords again? These threads that bind us up, they burn and weave. Inside my webs, they hurt until you leave. Ugh. I'll finish this later. Ooh, secrets? Ooh, a guitar? Alex loves guitar. No fucking way. Alex, here's a little something to say. Welcome home. Can't wait till you shred. Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? Okay, since, um, yeah, all the music to be. Look you in the eye You dress like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like a feather In a beautiful world I wish I was special you're so very special But I'm a creep I'm a What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here Whatever makes you happy Whatever you want You're so very special God, I wish I was special But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here 
I don't go home here. You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. But it looks like Mr. John Chen left San Miguel County about six months after his arrival. Yeah, is, is there like a forwarding address on file? I'm sorry, sir. That's not information we retain. Thanks again for calling the San Miguel County Clerk's Office. Have a pleasant afternoon. No, 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 no! Hey, don't! <sighs> Gabe was still trying to find Dad when he got here. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Gabe got you a letter yesterday. I'm doing just fine. Ever need a reset? Come down this way because my <laughs> at least smokes. The food is great and the drinks are even better. I'll never get tired of hearing how great things are going for you. Some days I think about our first meeting at the detention. Sure, you told me to screw off three times, but I'd never seen anyone listen so tightly to every word I said. I knew right then that you'd outplay the hands you were dealt. Point is, you were the best kid I ever men mentored. Don't forget it. Let me know how it goes with Alex. Hope you can find her. Love, Lynn. Okay. How did he get this up here? Oh, man. Gabe used to crush me. Jerk. Gabe looks like he fits right in. Through my fantastic white stuff, you've done Haven proud with your work and positive attitude. You made it. I'm to face the thunder. Free drinks. I like everyone's gonna be here. Except for Mac. Mac's gonna be telling everyone how. The Alex is.
Brian, just forget it. Game just really doesn't like this part. Could it be they had to turn down the graphic quality to make it runnable? Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. What are graphics? I glory, I know. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> Better so, graph. It hurts oh. when you breathe. Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Oh, you can open these during things. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. Mac is brooding. So I'm short staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. 
You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Hopefully this doesn't turn out too bad. My dad was in the service. Matt? Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Mac and uh, Gabe are always fighting? Okay. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? Perfect. I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Uh, cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? I didn't expect to have to remember. And the uh, pie special. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Rye whiskey? Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Go look. All right. Let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. That was lag. Ike? Would it be upstairs, upstairs? Okay, there. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. It's it was our uh, mine. Hmm. 
Nope. Nothing. Bummer. Is it in the fridge? We can't raid his fridge. I'm more like her. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. More bummers. You know, if someone who invites a kid over to his place, he there's a lot of alcohol lying around. I checked everything. They don't let me come. Alright guys. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. What's up with Ian? Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to how they operate. Starting over from scratch like this? Yeah, that's what people keep fucking telling. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. It's on the ropes, though. Huh? My stuff. Looks radioactive. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now though if you want to chat. So, are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Graphics weren't Have bad. you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he said. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong. You have to take the shot. Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Sure. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. 
So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Three sheets to the wind. Of the ocean. Okay, let's count how many uh, animals. I count as an animal, maybe. Anyway, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's like seven. Um, Down is one word. Three, four, only four have one word. I don't know what it means, but the more. words does the song have a long title like four words or more yes interesting okay four words or more uh so so it could be this one it could be that one it could be that one that one can't be that. Be that. Be that. Could be that. And uh, could be that. Okay. Okay, so four words or more. Any of those have animals on? Oh. Only a few though. animal on the cover art uh no no animals no, Ooh. too bad some of these are really cute i know right 
There could be that. Can't be that, because it's a monkey bed. I don't know if that counts. I don't know. Can't be that. It could be this. Can't be that, because there's an animal. Could be that. that so I eliminated everything towards the end so one two four five there's like five left you have a and don't. I'm only leaving this in because I don't know if it counts as an animal. Cool. You have a person. Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. You've got okay. two questions left. Ooh, so it can't be that. It has to be one of these two. Those are good. Those won't help me. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Nice. Oh, that's, Last question. That's both yeah, of these, right, though. I know. Dang it. Does the band name have a person's name in it? Nope. Okay. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name doesn't have a person's name in it. The band name does have a symbol in it. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Pretty sure it's this one. <laughs> Fuck. Nice one. Yeah. yeah. I'm drinking. I wasted one of my questions too. get back to work okay there must be something around the black lantern that can help me I find Dickie's starting over from scratch like this fucking terrifying is what it is you're telling me even is nice just wish it felt like home hope we both get there soon we're going with bad graphics I don't know why For this all year. I have a few favorites we can start with, and then we'll go from there. Teller's Peak? Yep. And Mount Huron, and the Devil's Tomb. Shit. Now Max's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. 
Yeah, he's scared now. Holy shit. <laughs> Can I talk to you real quick? No way. Come on, please. Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. That is bullshit. And you know it. I was defending Gabe from you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. You don't trust her. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. <sighs> I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay, so how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay, um, not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh God, were you there too? Everybody's mad. Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Oh, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... Are we okay? Are... Heck no. Rest or friend. Why would you guys be okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we... Still together. What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. 
I'm going to have to take you in for questioning. Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Nobody's in trouble here. I... <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? I have to talk to you about some whiskey. I never cleaned that table, did I? And we're still doing low graphics. Oh, mad. What with you? Damn, was that prank out of line? Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll give you that. Oh, he's nervous. <laughs> Scared hey, her. Alex. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? No, when I left, he was still down here. Oh. But you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. There's a wall of shame? Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Christ. She did that to that guy's face? It's steering clear. Aww. I'm already making friends. Yeah, it's great. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. How did I miss that? Yeah, it's in the couch. Oh. Ha! Mockery show. Upstairs in Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. Oh. <sighs> I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Actually, not yet. Let's talk to police chief guy. Back again?
I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Wait, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> I finished all my assigned duties. <sighs> you know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you done now? Yep. Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Oh, they're there. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Who's blasting me? Is this Mac? Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. Oh no, it's um... Okay, it's just my block. I thought it was some text mails like, uh, uh, Mac? Mac's mad right now. It's for him to blow up my phone randomly and have, um, no name show. How's your jaw? Okay. Is the pain bad? You're the one that wanted to talk, buddy. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Are you gonna say anything? Is you being a jerk right now, kind of? As to talk and you're not saying anything. What? I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well... You never know. You never know what? You just... never know. So... Need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized that I'm a crazy person. No, come on. I never realized what your life must have been like. 
on your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. But then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days that. I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. Awkward. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? Uh, last time she tried to tell someone about her power, they ran off. But anyway, is her brother. There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened? For a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, totally. During our sleepover. Right after braiding each other's hair. Okay. Okay. You sure it's not just... You know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds, or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends. 
That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. I mean, that's... That's really special. I'm not special, Gabe. I beat the shit out of people. I'm broken. I'm not saying it's all sunshine and tulips. But you're strong. You could turn this whole thing into something incredible. But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Years. <laughs> this person a believer. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I really appreciate the gesture. What? I don't know. I haven't played in forever. That's okay, you have plenty of time to practice. When you're not handing out beatdowns. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan... He told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move. Now. Okay, let's go. Blow up last radius. I didn't expect him to go at the night time. They're gonna start explosions at 9 o'clock. Hey, at least that didn't spiral out of control. Sometimes when you think you're doing something and then the choice that you chose not to do comes out anyway, characters get very upset sometimes. Ryan and Gabe are relaxed. I'm bad graphics. Come on, pick up, pick up. No one's got eyebrows. Alex. This way. since I was up here. Shut 
should I be... I don't know... Freaking out right now? In my experience, freaking out is almost never advisable. Any luck? In touch base with the safety team up at the site. We're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey. You good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. I think I'm gonna break this one up. It's way longer than I thought. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine. I... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Gabe, Gabe. Let me, let me send some motions, Gabe. Gabe, Gabe, Gabe. Are they both? Why didn't you? No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. The only thing that matters now is finding Ethan. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. Anyway, guys, I may be ending this video soon because I thought it would be shorter. It's been a few hours, like lots of hours. So, yeah, and we're probably not even halfway done with the chapter, with the first episode, guys. So that will be it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, video, comment, and subscribe for more. Hope you guys my next video, whenever, whatever that may be.